Welcome to um, another section of Teach Yourself Crypto. Um, I think by now you should be able to know how to do your company setup, how to enter your account balances, how to enter sales transaction, also enter purchase transaction. Um, this section we are going to be talking about how to record your business expenses. Very important. As a business owner, it's just very, very important for you not just to track your sales but also to track your expenses very important because there's no way you could know the position of your business if you don't compare the money that is coming in and the one going out so your expenses lets you to know if you are really making profit or not because after you have calculated the money that you have earned the next thing to do is to deduct what you have spent so it's remaining balance so tracking your expenses lets you to know whether you are spending more than you are receiving so these are things that you need to understand on a daily basis we tend to spend money on either we charge card we spend money on transportation we spend money on repair and maintenance we spend money on so many things just for the purpose of running our business so we should be able to compare these expenses to what we actually earning so we see the position of our business if you're making more than you're receiving if you're making more that you're spending it shows that you are actually on the right track if you are spending more than you're receiving you need to be able to curtail certain expenses and all that. also tracking expenses also lets you know areas that you're spending more money on then you need to see if that area is contributing more to your business income or not so in quickbooks you can do that you can do you can record your expenses easily it's quite straight forward now recording your expenses there are two scenarios you need to understand it's very very vital the first scenario is the expenses you incur but have not been paid for the other scenario is the expenses you incur but have been paid for example of this first scenario is someone walking in into our office to repair the ac maybe the ac has a fault developed a fault and it's not really cooling so what we need to do is call in an engineer to do it now the point of repair we realize that oh we don't have much money on hand at the office then we ask the man to come back next week probably by then md will have approved the next withdrawal so what happens is that when we're recording such expenses into our system we record it in the way that the system will pick it as an outstanding expenses expenses that have not been paid for the other way around is someone walking in to repair our computer and after repair we give the person cash there are two different scenarios the first one is outstanding expenses that have not been paid for with the hope of settling down in a later date, the other one has been incurred and also paid for and all that. So to record outstanding expenses in QuickBooks, we use Enter View. Enter View is an icon used to enter expenses that have been incurred and have not been paid for so that you can generate a list of all the expenses that are still outstanding. To record expenses in QuickBooks, you go to enter view here when you go to enter view you're telling the system that i have incurred these expenses but i've not paid for it that's why under the amount you will see due date so under the supplier list you select the company assuming it's lg engineering company you select lg engineering company then you look at this section here account with ac repair now this ac repair may not come in your own expenses you can always add that you add that you go down to add new when you go to add new here expenses then you click continue so here you can always enter ac repair so here let's call it like um let's use another electronics that lg produces let's say um free uh, refrigerator let's just use a refrigerator refrigerator repair you want to be specific here then you click save and close now under the expense you can see that we have refrigerator here then what is the cost of the repair of the refrigerator is 13,000 naira we enter the 13,000 naira here at the amount here what this means is that the cost of repair is 13,000 naira but we are yet to pay them that is the reason we're using enter bill once you're, you can always just enter the reference number on the bill because before they leave they will definitely drop an invoice to them is an invoice to you it's a bill once you're done you click save and close what that means is that you have recorded an expenses that have been incurred and have not been paid for 
very very important so confirm that when you go to pay bill which is the window you need to check all the bills that are outstanding and the ones you want to pay you will see here that we have LG engineering 13,000 naira. you can see other bills these are other outstanding expenses with our suppliers then to pay it or to click this you must tick one of the expenses to show that that is the one you want to pay for 13,000 if you're paying part you enter the amount you're paying here now you select the bank from which the payment is made you select it here oh we are paying this amount from zenith bank you select the bank but beneath it you now click pay selected view once you're done you go back to your pay view you will see now that we have finished paying it's longer there it's no longer there again so whenever you want to settle an outstanding view what you need to do is to go to pay view so pay view is used to settle outstanding view why enter B is used to record outstanding bill. So that's one end of your expenses. On that end of your expenses are expenses that you have incurred and you are also paying cash immediately. We are not leaving these expenses, we are not carrying to the next day, then I will carry it to next week. We want to pay it immediately. When you go out there to uh, to record to, to incur an expenses that have been paid by cash. If you want to record in the system, you don't use pay bill. You use right check. So right check is used to record expenses that have been cured and have paid for immediately. Example: We made order for E4 paper. That's an expenses. Did we pay? Yes. So to record such expenses, you go to right check. When you go to right check here, you can see that the difference between the first one and the second one is that under the enter B, there was no room for us to enter select our bank account except when we're paying it off. But on the right check, you can see that you have your bank account, which means that you use this to write off your, to record your expenses immediately. Pay to the order of, you come here, oh, AC, you can see it's not, uh, you want to add, a, what, what, are, what we're trying to do here is, you want to add a supplier name, but it's not here, all we need to do is add new to supplier, then we'll click OK. Maybe we'll order um, ABC V printing press abcv printing you will order the a4 printing paper so here you click ok so what is the expenses here it will be stationary you will come here you see where there is office stationary you can see office expenses it is grouped under office expenses you select office expenses here the amount 2400 naira being this and all that, that that's under the descriptions or memo so as you can see the difference between the first one is that under the enter b we are only entering expenses that have been incurred and have not been paid for but under this right check we are entering expenses that have been incurred and have been paid for immediately so you're not owing the person so anytime you're incurring an expenses and cash is being paid immediately or check is being issued immediately you need to use right check but when you incur an expenses that have not been paid for which means you are carrying forward to the next day hoping to set it up at a future date you use enter bill so to save this you go to write check you have done that now when you go to your report memorize accountant and your profit or loss account you will see here that we have our refrigerator repair 13,000 then you can also see that we have office expenses 2,400 we are expecting our um, accrued expenses to also appear in the balance sheet and all that which means that it's an outstanding balance so when you go to your balance sheet and you scroll down to your liability section you should be able to see that amount come up here um we have current liability we have account payables here when you come here and you click your account payables here so you could see from this section we have LG engineering you can see it here you can see here 13,000 naira which is part of our account payable balance so you can see that amount is also part of this 96 98,000 naira balance that we're paying here why because it's outstanding every outstanding expenses is a liability which means it has to appear on the balance sheet at the end of the year or statement of the financial position as the case may be so that is how to track those expenses and all that so when we get to report section 2 i'm going to explain how to generate report for 
every of your account here. So I want to track my expenses. How does generate an expense report? How does generate an income report? When I get to the report section, I will explain that better. But what you need to understand in this section now is how to enter outstanding expenses and how to enter cash expenses. Outstanding expenses are expenses that you have incurred and are yet to pay. Cash expenses are expenses that have been incurred and are being paid. They are very, very important. Was able to track this, you able to know whether you are making profit or not based on the income, based on the money that is coming in. Very, very important for you to track. These are this is this is a very straightforward section in QuickBooks. There's no magic about that. Like I said before, use your enter bill to record expenses that are outstanding, then pay it off with pay bill, then use write check to enter expenses that have been incurred and have also been paid for. If you have a question on certain expenses that you would you incur for your business, which is only specific to you, you can always send the mail to info at accountingsoftware.com.sg.